it's Bobby aka Paytonier and I have a junk journal swap to share with you. So Janie and I are doing a swap again, Janie over at Bookworms Buddy and um, we decided this time um, that we wanted to pick a theme kind of randomly. So. Um, we came up with a few different ideas and then we were supposed to like randomly pick a topic um, and then that would be what the other person would make for us. Janie and I did a video call and she had like a random wheel spinner thing to spin for me and she came up with the topic of summer. Um, I'll tell you and when we get to the journal that she made for me what topic she had to make. So summer, now this is a big, broad topic. At first I was like, crap, I don't know what to do. So I hopped onto the digital collage club that I'm a member of and um, just typed in summer and they had some really cute, like pinup girl kind of vintagey things. So I was originally gonna try to play with that idea. Um, and then that got my mind turning to more, more towards like USO and patriotic kind of things and then then I thought, no, that's because the theme isn't like 4th of July, it's summer. So then I kind of went back to like, what did I do in the summer a lot as a kid? I swam a lot because we had this above ground pool. My dad had this pool building business in addition to his other construction businesses. And um, we had this pool and I swam a lot and I would pretend to be a mermaid. And <laughs> so I thought maybe I'll do something there. But then I thought, I don't know. I don't know. And I got looking at um, some of the covers that I had already made, and I had this one here. And I thought, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. Bees and flowers. Um, I'm going to use this cover to make Janie's journal, and so that's what I did. Um, I'm going to take you on a flip through journey of the journal and what I'll be sending her. And we'll go from there. Um, I have this little package prepared for her. Um, just a coin envelope I made out of some coffee and bubble dyed paper. It says open me first. And inside there are a couple of packets of Chugwater chili seasoning. This is a chili seasoning that's made here in Wyoming. And it's amazing. It's my favorite chili seasoning ever. And I also like to use it as like a rub on steaks and different things. I'll put it on like if I'm cooking, let's say for example, potato wedges in one of my HelloFresh meals. I'll sprinkle some Chugwater chili seasoning on those. Like... I use it for a lot of stuff. It's delicious. So I'm sending her a couple of packets of that and a little note. So um, I won't read the note to you, but there you go. And here is the journal. This journal has four signatures. Here is a top-down view. And then here is a view of the spine. So I made these kind of longer dangles. Um, there are a couple of silver charms on here that are bees. And then everything else is like gold or brass colored or blue because blue and gold are kind of like or yellow are the colors that we're working with here and I did these kind of longer so that she can flip them up out of the way um, while she's working in the journal the closure is this piece of sari ribbon with a button and then this like hair tie thing so she can just slip that off slip it back on and because this is elastic if she works more in the journal and it gets chunky it will grow with with her okay so we'll take off the closure and set that out of the way all right here inside you can see um we've got a little page one creations over top of the number 26 this is my 26 journal um i use quite a bit of denim because there's denim on the cover and then denim accents within the journal. And I also have some um, stuff that's printed on canvas, like this piece right here. I got this um, digital kit, and you'll see some of that in the journal, as well as some just lots of other things that I found. Here's some more of this um, sorry silk ribbon, which I need to re-glue because I think I used the wrong kind of glue. So I'm going to be fixing this before I send it to Janie. Tucked inside here is just a little card. There's lots of flowers throughout this journal. 
I don't know if I'll talk about every page. Probably not because we don't want this video to be like three years long. But um, here we go. This is tea dyed paper here. We have this belly band. And this card. This one says, I do believe something very magical can happen when you read a good book. There are a few bookish things just stuck in here and there throughout as well. This page comes from a children's book about a beekeeper. Here we have a hidden journaling card. And I did some stenciling here and it's be happy. This is just some interesting cool like dyed paper and actually smells kind of like oranges, which I love. Um, and I put this gold accent on it. We've got another kind of card. So you're going to see a couple kinds of cards in this journal flip-flop. Some look like this. And these are from a mask making project I did a little while ago. And then you'll see cards that match the um, printable kit. So this one's just stuck on with a gold um, arrow paper clip. And this page I did some smooshy kind of dyeing with some scattered straw distress oxide. That is the main color of distress oxide I used in this journal. It's this really soft buttery yellow color that I just adore. This page, I still don't know how I feel about it. It came from like this big box of vintage ephemera stuff and it looks like kind of a summery scene and I put this little trim on it here. We've got a few pieces um, that you'll see that are this yellow handmade paper, just small pieces like this. And each signature should have one of these like little um, sunflowers that came from a doily that I had cut up. Some more canvas and denim here and coffee dyed paper. This is a pocket from the same big piece of fabric that I used to make the cover. I had had lots of extra, so I made a pocket here and stuck a couple of um, cards and tags inside. You're also going to see some printables that have like jars of honey or bees and sunflowers, those kind of things. This one is really fun. Um, this is a file folder thing and you can untie this string. and open it up and there's lots of journaling space in there. Some more coffee dyed paper. This is another piece of canvas and then this says be beautiful. Um, just help the bubble, uh, bubble, bulb pin. Another one of those pages from that vintage ephemera box. This is cute little boy's gone out fishing. This page shows uh, we have a pocket here and there's a patch that I have. Um, and then inside is a couple of cards. This is actually really special to me. I made this at um, an artist's like, workshop kind of thing that I went to um, that was all about collaging with vintage papers and I wanted to give it to Janie because I appreciate her friendship and support and her willingness to do these swaps with me and then we also have another one of these cards here so here we have this like, altered Quizmo card which is kinda like bingo but it's a math kind of game and then it's stuck in this kind of see-through pocket you can you can see the stitching around it Here we just have a lace flap, another card. So that's the end of the first signature. All the signatures start and end with pieces from this digital kit and I think they're just gorgeous. I did print them on matte photo paper and I don't know that I will ever go back to not printing on matte photo paper. Not for everything that I print, but it's so great. You can find it on Amazon. Just get in there and search matte photo paper. You can get a big pack of it for a pretty good price, and I would highly recommend it if you're wanting to do like digital printable things. The quality is just way better than regular copy paper. Here is some vintage um, ephemera. This is from 1932. It's a letter. And on the back side here, you can see we've got a pocket with another card. This um, little page has a lace flap, an altered playing card, 
and then on this side I love this so much so this I found in a magazine um, from the 1960s I believe 50s or 60s um, and this lady is an actress and I forget the name of who this is but she's playing with her baby and they got this picture and just the look on her face she's so happy um, so I did a little like collage thing with that and then we also have a hidden journaling card tucked in here this is a little um, kind of tuck spot with a couple of cards in it another tuck spot with a tag this is a little flippy glassine pouch and I've stuck in here something that I hope Janie will appreciate it is a pouch from the Owl Crate pin series from last year and she can use it to craft whatever she would like with it but I have a bunch of these so I thought she might like to have one I have another piece of this canvas and I just glued it on like this so that she can use it for a tuck spot or whatever she'd like some more um, vintage newsprint this page has a little um, tab with this chunky gold bead that I like some more canvas and denim this one I did a little bit of work with wild honey distress oxide spray and then did like a rub on with this number two um, and then a butterfly because butterflies just make every page look better <laughs> um, as Louisa Heinz will tell you a butterfly fixes every problem um, the two is representative of a couple things. Um, there are two of us, me and Janie. Um, this is the second signature in the book, and this is our second swap. This one just has a little cluster with a button, some denim, and some scraps here. And this one has just a cute lady. There's the other part of that glassine pouch, and we have picture here what is her name Jean Simmons I think this is Jean Simmons that was in Guys and Dolls and all that anyway and some bumblebee washi tape there here we just did some stenciling of bees this one um, it's like a daily tracker kind of thing and it's all these jars and I decided to use some gold embossing on some of the jars just randomly um, to look like they had honey in them we just have this is the other part of that letter from 1932 and I just used some um, tarnished brass um, distress stain, stain and I just took the dipper out and like flung it to make some splatters here and a couple up here just to add a little bit of interest that is the end of the second signature so we are halfway through this journal and ready to dive into the third signature this one on the back of this it was blank um, and I decided to do some stenciling again with a scattered straw distress oxide and I found this stencil that I really liked it was one of my Timu stencils so I just went over the whole back side of the page and then I hit it with a little bit of water so here and there I don't know how well you'll be able to see it but there's a little bit of the oxidation happening in little places this is just a vintage book page and then on this side of it we've got a sari silk pocket with a tag this is just some cute scrapbook paper that had a little beehive on it and I thought that would give her plenty of journaling space there on this one I didn't have much to do but I decided that I wanted to just for fun on this page do some embossing in gold so I don't know if you can see that very well but that little extra shimmer right there is some embossing powder on that sunflower here's another page with a, a jeans or denim pocket um, I have tons of denim pieces because I make um, quilts and different things out of this like circle denim method and I just love doing it so I've got all these things and then I had this little tiny scrap of sari silk and a button so I just thought out of that cute detail and then stuck a card in here nice little denim tag right up here here we have another one of those golden arrow paper clips just holding on one of these cards we've 
got more canvas and denim and on this one I add a little bulb pin with a cute yellow flower. This I think is one of the yellow flowers that came from Rhonda Winstead in that box that I got from her which I'm still like blown away by. All right, on this one I made this um, little pocket thing with just some nice um, paper and added some little uh, white lacy accents there and added another one of these cards here and this is another piece that came from an old old magazine it was an, an ad in a magazine from 1929 I think I think that's the one I got this from I can't remember no no no, no. scratch that it's too it's too far past 1929 it would have been one of my life magazines from the 40s I think anyway I did some gold embossing just on the bow part of the tie around her head just for some fun accents. Here we have a belly band that's an old book page and then just a little bit of lace here at the top so you can stick something inside there. Another lace flip up. This I just did a little um, phrase be amazed with some coffee dyed netting. This is a tuck spot and this is one of the ones that I'm still like I don't know how I feel about this. It's as you can see a bingo card. Um, I have attached a part of a doily here and a butterfly and then I, like a smaller matching butterfly up here. And yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about it. I think it looks nice, but I I I don't know. I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> it's just another card with a little teeny tiny Tim Holtz paper clip here. There's the other half of that um, stenciling that I did. This is the end of the third signature. And we'll start off with the front flap of an envelope here with just a little bit of um, sari silk and this little gold accent with some pearls on it. I know it's kind of hard to see. I tried zooming in super close on this and I couldn't get, <clears throat> excuse me, couldn't get quite close enough to get a good look at it. So my apologies for that. And we have some sheet music. Another denim little flippy. This is um, an actual photo, a vintage cabinet card that came in a, an ephemera box. And I turned it into a pocket. You can see there's a card sticking out here. I did some stamping with the Tim Holtz Field Note stamp set. So we have the agent 1929. And we have some numbers here filed. And then I stamped a number down here too to just try it, to tie that together to like maybe make a triangle or something. Um, the paper that this is on didn't want to take the ink from the stamps very well, so they're a little bit smushed, but you can still read them. So I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I wanted to, but I didn't. Here's another one with some sorry silk uh, pocket and a card. This page, you might be thinking, huh? How does this match? It just does, okay? <laughs> it says, see the good at the bottom. We're looking for the good. And um, we have this cute little cluster here. We've got a button. There's a little bit of denim underneath and this um, doily flower. We did some gold splatters here. This is from 1929 from Women's World Magazine. And I initially chose it because I thought the colors looked well with the flowers and some of the things that you can see in these cards here. Um, and then on the inside of this, it's more green. So I did a little bit of a green and yellow collage on this side. And then here we've got a map and another card with the Tim Holtz paperclip. Please excuse me, my iPad is making noises. Sorry about that, I had set an alarm for myself and it had gone off. All right, as I was saying, this um, page with the map has a little lace tab and there's a bulb pen with a little blue bead on it. 
and on this this is another page from the children's book about the beekeeper and we can see this woman she's got like um, a comb in her hair that has bees on it and there are little bees up here and stuff um the next page is coffee dyed paper with a denim pocket and a tag I think I used four tags like this in here and they all have different toppers which I think is kind of fun this one has embroidery thread another one has sari silk ribbon another one has like this glittery kind of ribbon they're just different um, this one just that's the middle of the signature coffee dyed paper I just collaged a bunch of blue and yellow flower stickers here so the shiny comes from the transparent part of the stickers just a little washi tape cluster here and it says be curious more from that children's book this page this is actually a wood um, piece and I embossed it with gold embossing powder and then we also have a hidden journaling card up here another little yellow flippy piece here I wanted her to know about the women's world magazine and I'd had due to size had to cut off the top of the page where it says the date and stuff so I just add a little tag here women's world February 1929 and this little yellow bow more canvas and denim here this was something that I randomly found in my ephemera box and I was like yeah I want to use that looks cute so we've got this lady with yellow butterfly wings and we've got some coffee dyed netting here and a little like lace scrap um, that matches a piece that we saw earlier in the journal here's another one that was just some cute pieces we've got this feather that's white here and then gold and then sh like shimmery gold glittery and then this brown and gold flower okay. and this envelope here is the end of the last signature but there are a couple more things to show we've got another little cluster here this lady's reading a book and she also has butterfly wings um, a card tucked inside and then on the back this might be one of my favorite things that I have ever made I don't know why I love this page so much. I took it, a picture of it and sent it to my sister who is not a crafter or junk journaler, journaler or anything and just said, tell me your thoughts on this. And she goes, I love it. Um, and that made me feel good to know that a non-crafter thought it looked good. I don't know why that did, but maybe just because it was my sister. <laughs> um, anyway, it says be joyful. And we've got this cute vintage piece of these ladies in bathing suits and this butterfly that's got some yellow and blue tones in it here. Now there is something fun on the inside of the back cover. So you can see we've got another file folder kind of thing here and it is also tied together um, with a string similar to what we saw on the other file folder piece. This, the other one I had covered with a kind of neutral papers and stuff. This one I didn't really so much, um, except for one thing which I'll show you. So once you undo these flaps, then this opens up and we've got some writing space here there's another card just tucked in and there is a book with a tassel because again Janie is a book reader and she can flip these pages up and play with them if she wants to um, and then I did cover this back part with this dark blue to match the the flaps and we are now at the end of the journal so there she is. Um, I don't know what to name this journal, so I'll let Janie name it because it's it's her journal officially. Um, and we'll uh, come back in a little bit with my journal from her. Okay, so we're back, and it's a few days later, and I have this journal from Janie. When I did the um, topic drawing for her, I pulled Forest. And I'm really excited to see what she has done with this. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box and get everything out and we'll go through it together. Okay, so I have to show you this because, I mean, just look, she's wrapped it in these leaves and vine things and there's something underneath here. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is like a clip-on dangle thing. So there's this um, bulldog clip here. And then she's got a bulb pen and a key, key ring and she's attached all these ribbons and 
little charms and things. Oh my gosh, I love this. <gasps> love it. Oh. Oh. If this is a hint of things to come, I, I know I'm going to absolutely adore this journal. All right. I'm going to try to untie this vine thing here. Oh boy. So I already see a little mini journal. This has got some cute charms on it as well. Ah, oh, there's my name and there's a little pocket with some stickers. Looks like we've got some coffee dyed paper. <gasps> Yay. Ah, oh, herbal tea. I, the only teas I drink are herbal teas and that's very sweet of you to include that. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Holy cow. This is just so beautiful. Oh, we've got like shiny little spots here that are glittery. We've got decorative book corners, leaves. Oh, wow. And this lace here. Oh my goodness. I'm already kind of in shock. <laughs> ah, okay. This closure is really cool. So it's kind of got this like brassy knob thing and the ribbons tie around it. Okay. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. <sighs> okay. So this looks like an altered paper clip with a charm on it. That's really cute. Okay, and that's in this pocket, and here we've got some little journaling cards and a tag with a fox on it. Oh. And then there's another pocket in the front here with this little card. Okay, slide back in there. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Very cute. And we've got some flower cards with some, what I feel pretty sure is coffee dyed paper on the back. And then here is a piece of um, this, not what's, what's not canvas. It's, oh, hang on. My phone's ringing. <laughs> Okay, that was like just a spam phone call. Okay. All right, so this is this is an altered paper clip that comes off. And then we've got this cute mushroom card. Oh, it's an envelope. It opens up. Oh, with a note. Okay. So the note says, Hi, Bobby. This time I decided to go big. It was super fun to put this journal together. I was a little worried with the forest theme, but I went with the Liana scrap yet again and... That's the Etsy shop where she finds a lot of her digitals, which is amazing. Um, and I found the beautiful digital kit that makes up this journal. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did making it. I look forward to many more journal swaps with you. Hugs, Jeannie. And this is her number 27, and she named it Sparkle Forest. That's cute. I really, really like that altered paper clip. Okay, put the cards back in this pocket. So this is the same as what's on the spine here. Cute birds, squirrel. One of my good friends in high school's nickname was Squirrel, so I think of him every time I see Squirrel. Look at these cute cards. Oh boy. Oh gosh. And this is a pocket. Okay. So we've got some mushrooms here and a great big journaling card. It says nature down here. That is super cool. Oh, we've got a wax seal. And then this one also seems to be a pocket. So I wonder if that's supposed to 
face this way. Oh, yeah, okay, so mushroom here, and then we've got a dragonfly, and this card has dragonfly on it, it's a sparkle. And this says, those we love don't go away, they fly beside us every day. You know, this is so interesting. Um, I was at a family reunion last Saturday, and we were at this little park, and there were just these little blue dragonflies flying everywhere. I didn't see any mosquitoes, I didn't see bees, butterflies, anything else other than these dragonflies. And there are people that belong to that part of my family that are no longer with us. My grandfather, um, my cousin Clayton, and some others, and they, maybe the dragonflies were there in place of them. <sighs> Deep breaths, okay. This is a really cute tuck spot, and you could journal on that. And then we've got this mushroom paper. Very cool. Okay, so we've got some of these vines here just on some lined paper. That's really nice. And here's a pocket. We've got several items here. Little foxes. And then a dragonfly. Oh, that's really beautiful. Okay, so she's got this, like, wood nymph, maybe, kind of lady. I don't know what, what. she's like, a forest spirit, I, I don't know. Alright, here we've got a beautiful picture of the forest, and another big card. Like a path through the woods. I love, love, love the woods. I go camping every summer, always have gone camping every summer, and I'm going to be camping a couple of times this summer, and the first place I'm going to isn't really like a woodsy place, so I don't, I, I kind of hope I get to go to the woods at some point. <laughs> I, I live right at the base of the Uinta Mountain, so I could drive up into the wilderness in about an hour's time, so I, I shouldn't complain. Anyway. Back to this. Ooh, we've got a pressed flower here, and she's kind of like enclosed it in some cellophane, maybe? Or acetate? I need a little frame. That's a cute paper clip. I have one of this shape, and I think I actually might have put it in her journal. No, I put it in my sister in law's journal. Never mind. Forest little side pocket here with a cute little tag, or not tag, a uh, journaling card. Here we've got a healing card. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has natural ability to heal others, yes, even you. That's sweet. And this paper is really beautiful, like... Who doesn't want to be lost in the woods, or maybe not even lost, know exactly where you're going in the woods, and see a magical door through an archway here? <laughs> Probably a lot of you are like, are you insane? I wouldn't want to see that for anything. Oh, cute. We've got some more tags here. This cute bird, and some leaves that has a little dragonfly. Okay, this is a cute little tuck spot down here, kind of like a flower bed thing. And we've got another dragonfly page and some more cards. This one says, Friendship. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. I like that. Oh, cute. This little guy's eating a raspberry. Is that a raspberry? That's what it looks like. <laughs> anyway. And then there's this cute, like, eyelash yarn fringe stuff here. Here we've got another door into the woods. And there's some kind of 
disclosure here. Oh, it's a Brad. Oh, this moves. Ah, how cool is that? I love that. What a great idea. Oh, we've got a flip out here. I love flip outs. Some cute little pictures up here. An owl, mushroom, some leaves and things. What's in this pocket? That's oh, pretty. Okay, is that? All right, so that is the page. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I don't <laughs> show something incorrectly. So here we've got this little raccoon. And then over on this side, looks like we've got some ledger paper that also says forest and a little tuck spot here. Some papers to write on. Cute. Some more lined paper. Ooh, she's pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, bunny rabbit. This is beautiful here. And we've got this little cluster with a charm hanging off of it. Very cute. Here is, let's see, yeah, that opens up to right in. Okay, looks like that's um, a hidden paper clip, that cluster thing. Yep. Very clever. Over here we've got, my roots are in the depths of the woods. And this cute card with mushrooms. Oh, hedgehog. Alright, so we've got a hedgehog down here. Lots and lots of writing space here. Another hedgehog here. And then this card says hope. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. That's very meaningful to me. And Janie doesn't know this, but like Hope has always been a word that I really have clung on to in my life, like through the hard times, especially knowing what the actual meaning of hope is. And like, I've always been taught that hope was faith plus action. And I love the idea that, you know, without trying to get too religious on you or anything, that like when you have faith in something or someone or that something good's going to happen or whatever, it's also on you to step forward and take the the steps necessary to begin that journey or to um, become closer to that person that you have this faith in or you know whatever it is that you're trying to do I don't know if that makes any sense <laughs> let's move on oh, really beautiful flowers this is dream here here's another pocket and this card says amazing and it matches this page here Another path through the woods. There's a spot in the woods not too far from where I live um, where I've gone to take family pictures of a good friend of mine. And it's very much like this. It's like there's like a little path winding through the trees. And the, when the light hits it just right, it almost looks like magic sparkles. It's like <gasps> amazing. Maybe someday I'll take my camera up there and do a little vlogging or filming or something up there. Okay. On this side, we've got another cute tuck spot here, a pine cone in a tree, and it says nature, and another mushroom page. Oof, this is just beautiful. Beautiful. We have got a top tuck spot with a great big card in it of foxes. I love foxes. I may have talked about that on my channel before, and pro I probably have. Here we've got lace. Ooh, is this a hidden journaling card? Yes, it is. Yay. I love these. I learned how to do these in um, a video, and I forgot in whose channel it was now. I want to say maybe Seven Plaza, but I, I, I couldn't tell you for sure exactly. And so I made some in the last journal that I um, made for Janie, and then she's been adding some more, and she told me that I would be able to find at least one um, in this, this journal as well. So that's kind of fun. 
cute little border here with some circles. Squirrel eating a raspberry. That's a really pretty. Oh, we've got graph paper in the back here. That's nice. Inspiration. Be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the Fairy of Inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call it any time. Oh, yes, please. I have a lot of creative projects that I need to be doing, so I definitely need the Fairy of Inspiration. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so this has got to be like a stenciled tree here and maybe stamps up here. And then a book, like the tree coming out of the book. I love it. Aww. Oh, look at this one. This one says fantasy. And is it, is it? Yes, it is another hidden card. Those are so fun. Oh boy, what have we got here? This is like a great big tag that's also pockets with a smaller tag or like this is actually more of a bookmark size. Make your dreams happen with this cute hedgehog. And there's also a little elephant sitting up there in the moon. So that goes in that pocket. And then in this front pocket, we've got some more of these stickers that are like stamps. And this, I think, yeah, this is from Sherlock Holmes because I can see um, the name Holmes there. If you haven't watched Janie's channel before, go check out her junk journal flip through. She also has great bookish content. I will link her channel in the description space below. Oh, that should be up a little bit higher. I love that she put charms on some of these paper clips. That's a really clever idea. I have to remember that. Okay, we've got another pocket or m multiple pockets here. This is really beautiful. It's got some like clover and flowers here. And then this pocket says amazing. And we've got another bookmark size with some more little stickers and things. And let's take a look at the charm on this. That's just a cute little flower. There's a tassel there. There's a journaling card. White Wolf. Ooh. That reminds me of a very cheesy movie that I haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> Maybe I should watch it. <laughs> it's called White Wolf's the Cry in the Wild Part 2 or something. Comment below if you've seen that movie. It has Mark Paul Gossler in it and the... Um, the girl that was in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Amy something. Anyway, random side note. <laughs> okay, here's this hedgehog flip up. That's so cute. And then a fox here. Love it. Mushrooms, whimsical. Oh, we've got another wax seal down here. And this pocket, look at this paper, the berries and the leaves. Oh, more berries and mushrooms on the card. Janie, this is amazing. Ooh, that's cool. So we've got this pocket here and this wood bark, which is amazing. Very cool. Very cool paper. Okay, let's turn you this way. We've got a bunny. And this looks like maybe a pocket. Yeah, I could stick something in there. That's very cool. So she's used the same page twice and done the, the pocket right over top. Some pretty flowers. Oh. This is a weeping willow tree. I have one of those in my front yard. I love willow trees. They remind me of my great grandmother. Um, she had big willow trees in her backyard and I loved them so much and I loved her so much. And when I was looking for a house to buy and I saw this one that had the willow tree in the front, I'm like, oh, bonus point right there. 
and I ended up choosing this one and so I get to think of her every time I look in my front yard oh this is really pretty adventure some more of this pretty glittery trim some lined paper with a mushroom stamp sticker right here <gasps> cute hedgehog oh, are you a pocket okay he says smile down here and he certainly does make me smile here's paper clip there is a card with some raspberries which if you ask me is the best of all fruits and this sweet paper with lines on the back awesome oh here's another pocket and then we've got a card that has a pocket and this trumpet gentian flower very sweet and then here's another oh my gosh there's like three pockets on this page okay so we've got this pocket here and we've got some more cards and then this pocket up top that's got another one of these with a card inside peonies and she's put coffee dyed paper on the back of these flower cards which is really nice okay this one has a tiny little girl down here and these great big giant trees this looks like another weeping willow because the branch is hanging down like this you got mushroom page that is a pocket and a fox inside if I showed you guys this ring or told you about it I wear this ring every day of my life it's got a mushroom on it and so all these mushrooms they're also special to me foxes are special to me willow trees are special there's just a whole lot that's really amazing and wonderful in this journal all right magic is the word up here and then we've got mushrooms down here and we've got oh a paper clip that's like a card thing with a pocket squirrel and then we've got another little tag, uh, or excuse me, a little cluster thing hanging off of here. This is amazing, Janie. I don't, I don't have the right words to say how much I love this already. Speaking of which, the word love is down here, and we've got another beautiful foresty girl. Another big pocket, and she's done some stenciling on the inside. We've got a bear. Bears, have I told you about my mom and the book about bears? <laughs> when I was, I want to say I was maybe 12 or 13, somewhere around there, um, we went on this family camping trip to Yellowstone, and we'd then been there before, but this particular time, my mom decided it would be a great idea to buy this book um, about bear attacks, and she would read us a story each night as we were going to sleep. <laughs> I was a little traumatized. <laughs> Oh, goodness. It's okay. I can tease her about it for the rest of her life. Here's another bear in the woods, and this one says, Enjoy Life. On this page, we've got some lovely lined paper, and then another um, journal card with some pockets, and a little bee charm there. Oh, I like the bee journal I sent her. Here's a little side loading pocket over here, and this card says noted. Doesn't want to go back in. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. My forest friends, some foxes. Another pocket. Dear self, say stay strong. Okay, I gotta get that so you can see it. Dear self, stay strong. That is a great thing to tell oneself. All right, we've got some more graph paper here, a tuck spot or side pocket with this page. That's beautiful. It's more of like a swampy wilderness in this one. It looks like she's done some little stenciling down here, maybe, or stamping. That looks more like a stamp. Another secret card. 
super cute. The secret cards that I did in hers are not as well hidden as these ones are. And my apologies for that, Janie. Oh, it's more lined paper. I love this. It's just good to have lots of space to write. Big pocket here. Looks like a postcard. More lined paper. This one, is that stamping maybe? And she did flowers like using circles. I've done those before. They're really easy. They're like a great easy way to make flour. I've taken my like one inch circle punch and just punched a bunch of, of circles and you arrange them to make the petals and then you do another one on top for the middle. And you can use it with any colors, anything that you want that you have paper for. It's great. This little fairy pocket here. And she's got some ribbon around the edges of this page, which is really nice. And a mushroom and fairy tag. Cute. Cute, cute. Oh. And into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. We got a wolf here, and there's an envelope that opens. Oh, it opens like um, for journaling space. Cute. We've got a little sunflower charm in a leaf on another one of these altered paper clips with like a flowery cluster. Oh, I just love this stuff. Okay, we're gonna have to investigate this. Okay, so first we've got this cute little leaves and acorns down here, and this pretty page here, and then if we take this paper clip off, that folds down. Oh my gosh, that's clever. Lots of writing space. Very nice. Ferns, lined paper, tree, strong forest and this opens up oh my goodness look at that cute little piggy so that also says forest and there's this little wild pig and then we've got an owl here with a pocket and some lovely dyed paper to write on and then there's a card back here with a fish yes fish I go fishing not very, not nearly as much as I used to, but probably once a year more like now, um, I go fishing with my grandparents. Um, we used to go fishing a lot more, but since they're gotten older, they're 80 now and, and they sold their boat and stuff. We just kind of go like once a year for a family camping trip, go fishing, but I do love it. This page says fantasy. Here we've got another little fox and a card that says forest with a deer. And there's a hedgehog there. Deer come into my yard all the time. Um, and recently there was a moose in my backyard. Um, because I live so near the mountains, we get wild animals. Very nice big journaling card with the another one of those pretty girls and that says adventure. Uh huh. There's a book with a tree coming out. Love it. Enjoy. Another willow and some more flip outs. Oh, and she's made little them into pockets so I could tuck things in there. Very sweet. Squirrel and a bear. And she's put a card in this one to journal on. Another page here, forest, and I got a pocket with a deer there. I love this bark. Forest trees. Arcana Nature. This is the back cover on the inside, and we've got a pocket with some more cards on them. 
that's just beautiful and this is like got glitter I don't know if you're picking up that shine or not and then here is the back cover I I don't know I don't have good words to describe how much I love this I it's so beautiful it is beyond expectations and I I just love it love it love it I'm just gonna have to let it sit in my shelf for a little while before I start using it because it's so beautiful I'm gonna have to really really just enjoy looking at it first before I start writing it on all the pages and stuff but um, yeah everything you made is so lovely and so nicely placed and there's lots of lots of writing space I just I, I love it I hope you love the bee journal as much as I love this forest journal okay so that's gonna be it for this swap video I am beyond blown away and yeah it's on to other journal making things for now and reading more books but this is like just amazing so um, you can be sure that Janie and I will do more swaps in the future. For now, be sure to check out her channel in the space below, or if you're coming over from her channel, hi, thanks for coming over and watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more journal slash bookish goodness, and uh, we'll see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.